Relationships are fraught with the potential for peril as well as the prospect of prosperity. Navigating a new relationship can be especially challenging, since you don't really know the other person as well as someone who's been in a relationship for years. There are no surefire ways to ensure your new relationship is going to make it past the three-month mark, much less three years. But if you keep the following five tips in mind, at least you won't lose the plot before it even begins. Please like, comment about your suggestions and questions, share and subscribe. We really appreciate you for Y9 you are love and support. Thank you. Stay G blessed. 1. Don't overdo or rush it. New relationships are especially vulnerable to this phenomenon. You've met, you fall in love, and before you know it, you want to give up everything else in your life, your friends, your hobbies, your family. You want to have sex day and night and do little else. New love is intoxicating. Most of us have experienced it and get it. Enjoy the moment, but just don't take it too far. After a while, remember you have friends, remember you have hobbies. This is important because while it's fun to lose yourself in someone else for a while, if you do it too long, you increase the danger of losing yourself altogether. 2. Don't hold back. New relationships are an exquisite dance of bearing our emotions and our vulnerabilities to another person. Share too much, and you're afraid they'll see something they don't like, don't find attractive, or may reject you for. But share too little by putting a clamp on your feelings threatens new love before it even has a chance to root. You need to be willing to take that leap of faith and share what you're feeling, even if you're afraid. Because truth is, we're all afraid. So one of you has to be the brave one. 3. Don't play games. As a part of that dance, sometimes we get sucked into our own insecurities, bravado, or ego and start playing games. We hold off on calling or texting back. We stop flirting because they said something that upset us, but instead of talking about it, we just stop talking. If communication is key to a successful relationship in the long run, learning how to communicate with your new partner is one of the best things you can do. 4. Don't just become what the other person wants. While related to number one, it's also important on its own. You are your own person, and while we should all seek change to better ourselves, we shouldn't do it just because someone else wants it. It needs to make sense to us first. Your personality and your individuality are what make you uniquely special. Don't lose that in a new relationship. Don't be quick to give up those things that make you unique just to please the other person. 5. Don't get lazy. While it's easy to fall into traditional roles and routines as soon as they become comfortable, it can also be a sign of laziness. What makes new relationships so much fun is that you don't have those routines yet, so don't be so quick to fall into them. Keep these tips in mind and you'll find your new relationship even more enjoyable than past ones. Enjoy! 6. Don't wait by the phone for your partner to call. Remember your first priority is yourself. Make sure you continue doing your own thing. It's not good to be always available. 7. Don't introduce children into the relationship until you both have a mutual agreement on where you stand. Don't rush your partner into your child's life. Children have a tendency to get attached to people quickly and forbid the relationship doesn't work out they are breaking up with your child also. 8. Don't put your private affairs on social media. Everyone doesn't need to know everything because everyone is then allowed to have an opinion on your relationship. Unhappy people are waiting for you to be unhappy as well, don't give them the satisfaction. 9. Don't expect your partner to be a mind reader. Communicate. If there is something that you need in your relationship, articulate it clearly to your partner. Express your need calmly and remember that timing is everything. 10. Don't ask too many of your single friends for advice. Individuals who are single are usually doing different things than people in a relationship. Choose where you get your advice from wisely. 11. Don't put down, always build up. You don't ever want to point out faults or criticize. What you want to do is build on all of your partner's positive attributes and strengths. 12. Don't let your partner leave clothes at your house. Relationships should move in phases. Initially you are trying to get to know the person, you don't want to have to move the person and then out. 13. Don't ignore trouble. When a person shows you who they are, believe them. If your partner shows any violent tendencies emotionally or physically don't ignore it. 14. Don't share bank accounts. Sharing bank accounts is for when you are in a strategically monogamous relationship or married, other than that what's yours is yours. 15. Don't lie. You don't want your relationship to be built off of something that isn't true. Lies are harder to keep up with anyway. 
16. Don't bring friends and family into minor arguments. Brining friends and family into minor arguments gets tricky. While sometimes it's good to get advice, you don't want them harboring negative feelings towards your partner. If it's a small argument, you should be able to discuss it with your partner anyway. 17. Don't give up the cookie too quickly. Enjoy your time together. Go out. Learn each other's strengths and weaknesses. Once you sleep together there's all these emotional connections you now have to deal with. Make sure it's the right time. 18. Don't compare your new relationship to your past relationships. Everyone is different, meaning every relationship will be different. Your past relationships should be left there. 19. Don't talk about the future us too soon. Focus on the here and now. You don't want to scare your partner off by discussing marriage when you're only in the beginning stages. 20. Don't pay for everything, allow yourself to receive. In a relationship there should be giving and receiving. If you give all the time, you're not giving your partner the opportunity to give of themselves. 21. Don't sleep over at each other's house. You're in a new relationship. Don't have your partner feeling too comfortable yet. A kiss goodnight and a wave home is perfectly fine in the beginning. 22. Don't take your new partner to family gatherings. Let family gatherings be just that, for family. Until you are in a serious relationship and your partner has met your parents then feel free to have them tag along. 23. Don't overcall or text. Try to keep things light and friendly in the beginning. You don't want to make it seem like your life is all about the relationship or that you're needy. 24. Don't lose your sense of self. While a relationship requires two people learning to become one. You both are still individuals and should live life as such. 25. Don't say, I love you, prematurely. Love is arguably the strongest emotion there is. When telling someone, I love you, you want to make sure you mean it with everything that's within you. If you got to the end of this video, thumbs up and please like, comment about your suggestions and questions, share and subscribe. We really appreciate you for Y9UR love and support. Thank you. Stagey blessed.